When we race, the only voice I hear is Coach G. Like, I know a lot of the parents yell, but I don't hear anything, just Coach G's voice. Hey, mom and dad and uncle, abuela, abuelo here. Run within yourself, okay? Coaching Eagle Pass High School is refreshing. Every year is a new chapter, so it, it, it never gets old. What's taken place after Coach Gonzalez got here has been utterly amazing. He's like the Pied Piper. He had five girls when he started here. He's got an army now. He's got 70 girls running out there with him. Our students, they want to be part of something special. They want to be part of that small bus that goes to state. She's 10 ahead, she's 10 ahead. Be patient, don't fall asleep, keep focused. No one really knows where Eagle Pass is and no one really knows about Eagle Pass. There are a lot of other teams that are like have a lot of money. We're not one of the poorest teams, but we're not one of the richest ones either, right? In the end, it's always what's in your heart that helps you run faster. The negative perception of the border towns is something that I believe we've overcome many years ago. The expectations are just as high of our kids on the border. Sometimes, you know, being from a border town, the support isn't there, but here in Eagle Pass it is, and that's one of the things that makes Eagle Pass special. Today's a little flush run. Nice, easy flush run. 35 minutes, easy pace, conversational pace. Get all the gunk out of your legs and um, be careful with traffic. I've never driven this course, so um, it might be a little bumpy. So they go from the high school, straight shot this way, and um, they come in, they go in through here, and run this little trail back there, which we'll catch in a little bit. I'll ask the, the Border Patrol here if it's cool if we can go down those trails, because it's full of sensors, and they'll, uh, they'll be honest. Yeah. Hello, sir. Sometimes my runners take that trail uh, for a Sunday run. We are wondering if it's okay if we go down there. That's fine. Okay, thank you, sir. There's Border Patrol here, you know, back and forth, and if they're not aware that we're down here, they'll, you know, come down this road and, and you know, meet up with us, and it's like, what are y'all doing? They question us, and then we'll just let them know we're, you know, we're running, and they're fine with that. And that's the Rio Grande, and that's Mexico right there. You hear things happen, but you kind of just get used to it. People that don't live here, they think it's dangerous, but for us, it's like... Life. Yeah. I was born over here. My mom, she believed that Americans have better opportunities. So she did see this as an opportunity for me to be better than she was. She's been diagnosed with cancer, and maybe waking up one day and knowing that she's not there anymore and I didn't get to see her, I mean, yeah, I kind of use that as motivation for my running. When you, when you talk, told to me about uh, the one time you were really concerned about yes. like, the status of, of just sort of danger in this area, was that like here? Yeah, right there. Like eight, nine Gunshots. Years ago, there was sh like shootings across yeah. the river here. Yeah, and you could hear the pa 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 pa. Our high school is maybe a mile away, and and from from the river, and I I just didn't want to risk it. I didn't want to risk a stray bullet, you know, coming across because we practice at six, you know, six thirty in the morning, and I mean it, it went on for hours according to to the news. It's very rare though. Like that's the only time that's ever happened. Like you don't deal with that very often. No, not very often. No. Everybody is extremely aware of where we live and what could possibly happen. Everybody's so used to the possibility, but they're always so perceptive and aware of what to look for. And like, if you see something, you say something. Some of y'all are, are feeling a little dead-legged. Remember, we're working through the season. We are you know, getting better, progressing. We wanna feel good come, no, come October, November. All right, so we're working through the season. Don't get worried, like, Coach, I feel a little tired. Yes, it's, that's normal, because we're about to finish phase two and start phase three, you know, next week. So don't start panicking. Speed limit, speed limit, speed limit. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Let's go. 
aquí nomás. ¿Y usted? En las hormigas. <ríe> Buscando. 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. We have cruise intervals today, five to eight, um, five minute runs at tempo pace with a 90 second to two minute recovery time. Good job, girls. Good job. 418, 420. We alternate with, uh, with these workouts. Sometimes we have a 20 minute chunk of, of tempo and then we break it up into cruise intervals. And it's, it's just to build their VO2 max. And you know our focus is to build their VO2 and the higher the VO2, the faster your 5Ks will go. Hey, excellent job, guys. Excellent job, dudes. Good. Hey, let's transfer this to the meet and just surprise people again. I want to see the old Ryan, baby. Let's go. For being, you know, statistically one of the poorest counties in the state of Texas, which makes one of the poorest counties in the country, the things that take place at this high school are amazing as far as what we accomplish academically and athletically. I mean, it's, you talk about lack of resources, you know, we, we do things here that some high schools cannot fathom how we operate with the budgets that we have. I'm very proud to be a runner of Eagle Pass. I feel like I carry a tradition that others have left. It's a great program to come into and see, you know, the ins and outs of the sport. Kids really take ownership of their training. As we go to these big meets, especially like at Nike South, I've noticed that you know, every, every year we go, we get noticed a little more. I think the success that we're having, the kids are following the passion of the coach. Everyone thinks there's a magic bullet, and there is none. It, it, you have to have the kids that are going to be committed to the actual program, to the process. And when 5, 10, 15 kids buy into that program and believe that this program is special, that's when you have you know, these special teams. We've been blessed to to go, be going to state meet for the past, you know, six out of the last seven years. And it's, it's not that we're the most talented team in Region 4, it's just we're, you know, some of the smartest working and they, they buy into it. I believe we started a new culture here. There's a lot more runners now than when we started, you know, and, and hopefully, you know, it snowballs. And I think that's what's special about having a program in Eagle Pass, where watching them just mature as young men and young women, and that's more rewarding than qualifying to the state meets. It's awesome to watch. They love the sport and they're deep into it, so it's one of the great places to be. When Coach G gives us a pep talk, he usually mentions the runs for something bigger than yourself. And that helps us all of the team run together. There you go, Homer! There you go, baby! It's turned into a tradition of success. Coach Gonzalez has been an inspiration to our program, and it takes a special coach. So I think the success that we're having, the kids are following the passion of the coach, and uh, they're performing very well.